on, here are your top stories. Caitlyn Jenner stated that transgender women performing in girls sports is unfair. Jenner, an Olympic gold medalist and candidate for California governor, issued her first controversial statement during her candidacy at a brief conference in a Malibu parking lot. She stated that transgender women and girls sports have an unfair advantage. Transgender rights advocates have opposed the statement, saying Jenner is against what they stand for. In other news, Sunday morning, at least four people have died and dozens were left injured after a crowded smuggling vessel hit a reef and capsized off the coast of San Diego. According to Rick Romero of the San Diego Lifeguard Services, a cell call came in around 9.56 local time from a commercial vessel that reported another boat in trouble near Point Loma leading into the bay. The initial report said there was one person aboard, however, rescuers said there were as many as 30 people involved. In other news, firefighters rescue a man from a fast-moving river in the city of Oswego. A passerby called 9-11 at 3.45 a.m. after spotting a man on the river. The Oswego Fire Department raced to the scene and the man was rescued from the water. He is expected to make a full recovery. At Dickinson High School, a New Jersey teacher, Howard Zlotkin, had been removed and under investigation for allegedly going on a vulgar rant against children in the class. Zlatkin claimed that George Floyd is a criminal who wouldn't comply and how ridiculous it is to make him a hero. He also rants about his hatred toward the Black Lives Matter movement. There was constant cursing using the middle finger and asked four black students in his class to write an unnecessary essay. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior Variety Show photo submission deadline extended to today at 4 p.m. Seniors, we need your photos. Tell your senior friends. Spread the word. We are asking for you to submit your class of 2021 related photographs. Think pre-K through 12th grade for the senior variety show. Photos must be school appropriate. Please submit your photos through Monday at 4 p.m. Photographs must be submitted to the following email address to be included in this year's senior variety show. SVS ESM21 at gmail.com. Sub in the subject line, please include your first and last name. We will have a high of 72 degrees and a low of 55 degrees, which will start off the week to be very warm. Today, we'll have scattered showers after 2 or 3 p.m., as you can see around me. And tonight, there will be more rain with steadier downpours and embedded thunderstorms. On Tuesday, there will be a high of 74 and a low of 53 degrees. Tuesday will be just as warm and have a few showers. Wednesday will have a high of 62 and a low of 41 degrees. And Wednesday will also have a higher chance of showers and with some cool breezes throughout the day. And I'm Grayson with your weather. with the Food Bank of CNY to help fight hunger during the pandemic. To help out, you can visit foodbankcny.org and donate. There will also be a shopping cart in the main lobby where you can donate physical goods. The physical items will be donated to St. Matthew's Food Pantry. The virtual food drive will go to May 15, 2021. During this time of need, donations are needed more than ever. If you have any other questions, please speak to Mr. Sweeney or Ms. Mock.
ESM Softball won 17 to nothing this weekend. Morgan Ransom had 10 strikeouts in the win. The girls lacrosse team lost to West Hill 14 to one. Anna James had 12 saves, and Emma Beal scored the one goal for the team. In the MLB, the New York Mets beat the Philadelphia Phillies 8 to seven. Reese Hoskins three home run that would have tied the game after the ball hit the bar that is considered in play at Citizens Bank Park. Medina Spirit won the 147th running of the Kentucky Derby. Trainer Bob Baffert won the seventh Derby, which is which is all most which is all time the most. In the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks defeated the Brooklyn Nets yesterday, 117 to 114. Giannis Antetokounmpo had 49 points for the win, and the Bucks. The Toronto Raptors defeated the champions, the Los Angeles Lakers, 121 to 114. That pushes the reigning champions, Lakers, down to the sixth seed in the playoffs. In upcoming games, the boys' varsity golf team has a match today at four, and the boys' varsity baseball team has a game against Auburn. And I'm Tanner with your sports.